What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Boxing Wave 101, and we back. Look, if you're new to the channel or if you come to the channel and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment, get engaged. We're going to go ahead and jump on the topic of this Peter Quillen versus Angulo fight that just happened over the weekend. Great fight. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. Let's go. <sighs> Gotta take a seat for this one. Look, before we go into the video, I want to say congratulations to both fighters coming out unharmed uh, for Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen and Alfredo Angulo. Damn, it's hard to say that twice fast. But good fight, both warriors, man. They threw a lot of punches. Um, oh, hold on. <sighs> Look, they threw a lot of punches. It was a real action-packed fight. Um, not going to quite say fight of the year or anything like that, but like real, real action-packed. action, uh, action uh, pack. Something like the Chris Ariola and Kawanaki, Kawanaki fight. Something similar to that. So, yeah, man, big ups to both fighters. But look, man, what I wanted to discuss is basically the outcome of the fight. I, I me, personally had Peter Quillen uh, winning. Um, and I'm going to say because he landed basically uh, a lot more punches. Um, they both landed their share of power punches. And if I'm not mistaken, Angulo only outlanded Peter uh, Quillen by two power punches. It was like 154 for Angulo, 152 for Kid Chocolate. Now, if Peter Quillen... I punched him by, I believe it was like, like about a hundred punches, like literally. He out punched him about like a hundred punches, and he only got out punched on the power shot side, and it was only by two punches. So, Angulo, like if you try to make the argument and say Angulo um, hitting with more power shots, I mean that's cool but he only hit him with more power shots by two that's not a lot so it's hard for you to make an argument really on how you want to fight he literally got out jabbed by like 90 punches and look this is what i'm saying about boxing fans but like fights like this that's like on free television where a lot of casual fans are watching and they see the outcome of these fights this is what leads to people saying robberies and not robberies and this and that. Because if I'm not mistaken, everybody said Triple G got robbed against Canelo. Right or wrong? Right. Like, everybody's saying that, right? And what was the main reason? They say, Triple G outjabbed him. Triple G outjabbed him. Okay. Peter Quillen outjabbed Angulo. Watch this, man. I got some. I got paper. Yeah, look, man. For the first Canelo Triple G fight, Triple G landed 218 punches. Canelo landed 169 punches. Canelo outlanded Triple G by four power punches. Only four. Triple G outjabbed Canelo by 53 punches. So basically, people said Triple G won because he was busier. And he outjabbed Canelo by 53 punches, basically. 50, I mean, 49 in total. Because Canelo outpowered punched him by four. So you take away four punches. So basically, Triple G outlanded Canelo by 49 punches. That's why they say Triple G should have won. Peter Quillen. <sighs> Peter Quillen outlanded Angulo. 127 punches. 127 punches. Peter Quillen out hit Angulo. He out jabbed him 139 jabs to 10. Angulo only hit him two more power shots. So that means Peter Quillen was way busier in the jabs and he was also busy with power punches. He landed 152, Angulo landed 154. 
they both threw the same amount of punches. I don't understand. Oh, I, yeah, I don't understand how you can give it to Angu. Did he put up a good fight? Yes, 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 yes. But for people to make the argument that Triple G got robbed and then try to make an argument that Angulo actually beat Peter Quillen, that's where you're wrong at. Okay? That's where you're wrong. I, I don't get how Wilder got, um, how Wilder lost, but, well, not lost, but how Wilder got a draw, but people saying he lost, but Angulo gets the W. He didn't knock Peter Quillen down. Wilder actually knocked Fury down twice. And put the icing on the cake, Angulo never, ever outpunched Peter Quillen. Not one round. But guess what? Deontay Wilder, he outpunched Fury three rounds. The seventh round, the ninth round, and the twelfth round. Fury only outlanded Wilder 13 punches. 13. And they say he destroyed Wilder. He outboxed him. He outclassed him. Wilder was the busier fighter. He knocked him down twice. Look, Wilder threw 430 punches to Fury, 327. And they say Wilder got outclassed because Fury landed 13 more shots. But when it comes to Angulo against Peter Quillen, who landed 127 less punches, and they both threw the same amount of punches, I hear no complaints. Hmm, that's funny, ain't it? Like, comment, subscribe, your boy Boxing Wave 101, and we out, peace.